The Mercedes-Benz Museum opened in May 2006 and is one of the most recognizable structures in Stuttgart's skyline. Located bang at the heart of Mercedes-Benz manufacturing and its management headquarters, this is a new museum as Daimler previously had a museum located inside the factory. Its helix-like structure and very prominent architecture are unique. But it's about what's inside this building really. I have been here before and yet I'm happy to be back. Why? Because the museum's many exhibits keep on changing. And you get to see rare cars that you may not have seen on your last visit. So it's always fun coming back. The large building offers 178,000 square feet of exhibition space and always has about 160 cars on display at any given time. The time capsule-like elevators take you to the top and you travel downwards through time as it were since the museum has its oldest exhibits right at the very top. So right from the first car ever to the first four-wheeled one. After all, this is the brand that can boast the world's very first automobile, don't forget, going all the way back to 1885. As you descend down, you see the glorious vintage cars that followed initial setbacks after the First World War including the very first car to sport the name Mercedes. Sexier, sportier and faster. Good way to describe some of these cars that came in the late 1920s, but what's specifically different about them is the fact that they're also badged Mercedes-Benz for the first time because the two companies, Daimler and Benz, had to come together. They tried very hard to recover from World War I and, uh, you know, they tried diversifying, doing things like sewing machines and bicycles and typewriters, but it wasn't enough. And which is why to survive, they had to merge. And lucky for us, because we got to see some stunning cars that followed, including something like this. Very grand, very opulent, again, very fast. The Type SS, this particular one, becomes a little special for me because it's a car that was also sold to the Maharaja of Kashmir and so, yes, made its way to India. SS stands for Super Sports, and this car used a drilled six-cylinder engine with nearly 200 bhp of power and a top speed of 190 kilometers per hour. There are many more gems to see, but I always gravitate to the car that people at the museum will tell you is probably the most photographed car here. Yes, it is cliched to say it is one of my favorites, but it really is gorgeous. The dream car of the 1950s, the 300 SL Coupe with its dramatic gull wing doors. Another six cylinder beast with 215 horses and 260 kilometers per hour top speed. Wow! And that red interior is oh so special. The museum also houses the company's top technologies and I was particularly interested in the green cars and concepts built over the years. Everything from hydrogen fuel cells to biofuel and of course electrics and hybrids. And my other key area of interest, vehicle safety. Crumple zones, something that all cars now have as standard, well, have had for several years. First time ever from Mercedes-Benz in 1959. And uh, well, it's also amongst the first brands to start crash testing for all of its new vehicles. 
And uh, we do have to thank the company because there are other things as well that became standard in other cars thanks to some of the work being done here. 1981, airbags, 1978, ABS, both of which now thankfully are standard in India too. And then there are the other special exhibits halfway down that keep on changing. They follow various themes like technology or even design or commemorate special cars in the Daimler heritage. I am lucky to be able to see the new exhibition for the G Wagon or G class of SUVs, the most capable and premium car in its category for many. 2019 is the year when the Gelände Wagon, as it's called in German, the G-Class All-Terrain, has turned 40 years old. And in these 40 years, there's a remarkable fact, every car made, well, almost every car made, is still running somewhere in the world. In fact, they are confident that more than 80% of those cars that have been produced over these 40 years are still in operation, still in working condition, and that's pretty remarkable. And uh, if you visit Stuttgart in the next six months, there's a special exhibit dedicated to this car at the Mercedes-Benz Museum. Special one-offs and all the production updates on the G, you'll see it all here. It's a very cool exhibit and one all G-Wagon fans must come and see if they can. And so I simply had to show it to you since I was here at the museum.